In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's beloved people, and welcome. Today is Saturday. It is the 1st of January, 2022. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. It is New Year's Day. The Church celebrates the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. The Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron and his sons, Thus you shall bless the sons of Israel. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So shall they put my name upon the sons of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 67. The response to the psalm is, O God, be gracious and bless us. The second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. Brethren, when the time had fully come, God sent forth his Son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So through God, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Acclamation In many and various ways, God spoke of old to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son. The Lord be 
with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 2, verses 16 to 21. At that time, the shepherds went with haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is a time to look back for correction and to look ahead for action. A time to look back for correction and to look ahead for action. Dear friends in Christ, Today is the first day of this new year, 2022. Happy New Year! We are beginning another cycle of 12 months. It is something to thank God for. Once again, Happy New Year, 2022. Always, every new year, it is a time to look back at what was done and achieved, what went well and what did not go well. It is a time to look back for correction. It is also a time to look ahead for action. 2021 is gone. Therefore, we thank God for bringing us into this new year and we must get into it with a lot of positivity, with a positive mind frame. Many things, perhaps very negative things, bad and sad memories would have come with 2021. God's good people, this is 2022 with lots of opportunities ahead of us. Embrace this new year and get into it with a positive mind frame. It is a time to see where we want to be and what needs to be corrected, especially looking at all the past mistakes of last year. Beloved, as the years go by, we grow older. Another calendar has been torn. We cannot remain on the same spot. We must make progress. An unexamined life is not worth living. Examine your life in all domains and aspects. Many have died, but God is still keeping you. Have you asked yourself why? Therefore, use this opportunity then to make the most of yourself. You may not be opportuned to see 2023 at your relationship with God and with your neighbor. It is a time to evaluate yourself. 
morally. Look at your life. Are you still full of anger? Are you still full of jealousy? Full of hate? Morally, are you decent in speech? Are you decent in dress? Look at your life financially. Are you a spendthrift? Are you extravagant? Or do you spend wisely? If not, dear friends, you may find yourself getting into debt. Look at your life spiritually. Are you far from God? Or are you close to God? Are you receiving the sacraments? Or again, this year, will be another promise you make to God. I go. I will do it. Look at your life socially. Are you very close to family and friends? Do you try to associate with others? Or are you a loner? Or are you a troublemaker? Or do you bring peace and happiness wherever you go? Look at yourself intellectually. Have you improved? Or are you at the same spot? It is for this reason, beloved, that we have to look at ourselves and examine ourselves. Do we keep bad company? Or do we keep good company? Who are your friends? This is New Year. And often we say New Year, New Fashion, and we make resolutions. Beloved, let it not always be a theory that we make resolutions that we may never, never keep. It is a time for you to look at yourself. You must make progress. You must improve yourself. Today also is World Peace Day. In his message on this day celebrated as World Peace Day, Pope Francis touches on two important things that can bring peace. One, dialogue. By dialogue, the pontiff insists, it is not a monologue. It is two people coming together and therefore, there must be the willingness to listen. There must be the willingness to share, to communicate. And secondly, Pope Francis talks of education. We cannot want peace where there is no education. We must promote education because it is in educating that we even know when peace has been violated. Let us pray for world peace. Individual peace. Because an individual who has not had peace cannot be able to spread that peace to the rest of the world. The church also celebrates the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God. Beloved, we need the intercession of our blessed mother. We have begun this new year. It is a new beginning. Behold, all things have become new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. All the old things have been put away. New wine, new wine skins. Mark chapter 2, verse 22. Therefore, become a new you. Let us see a new you, a positive you, this 2022. Let us see new wine in new skins. Let us see you becoming new and all the old things past and gone. We need the intercession of our Blessed Mother. We cannot succeed without her maternal intercession. And what is more, we can never achieve without God's blessings. The first reading is full of blessings. This is exactly how God instructed Moses to say to Aaron and his sons, Bless the sons of Israel. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. And beloved, this is our prayer for you this day. That as the Lord has enabled you to begin this new year, 2022, may he bless you and may he keep you. Amen. May he shed his light of his face upon you. Amen. And may he prosper your ways and all your actions. Amen. The responsorial sound also talks of blessings. Oh God, be gracious and bless us and let your face shed its light upon us. May God bless you and may he keep you. In your family, in your business, 
in your studies, in your friendships, in your, in your relationships, in whatever you do, in your travels, in and out, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Remember, how you begin is very important. Begin this new year on a good and positive step. And God, who has enabled you to begin it, will always see you through. May God bless you and keep you. We wish each and every one of you a very fruitful and a prosperous new year, 2022. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Happy New Year 2022. May God bless you and may He shed His light of His face upon you. Amen.